Hi, my name is Jones Muna. Today we look at glaucoma. Production and circulation of aqueous humor. Aqueous fluid is produced by ciliary process of the ciliary body. It flows from the posterior chamber then it flows through the pupil of the iris into the anterior chamber. Finally it will be drained through the canal of Schlem in the trabecular meshwork to sclera veins and general blood circulation. Functions of the aqueous humor. Provides structural support, oxygen, and nutrition to tissues within the eye. Removes excretory products of metabolism, transports neurotransmitters, stabilizes the ocular structure and contributes to the regulation of the homeostasis of these ocular tissues. Aqueous humor also permits inflammatory cells and mediators to circulate in the eye in pathological conditions, as well as drugs to be distributed to different ocular structures. Definition, glaucoma are a group of eye disorders characterized by progressive optic nerve damage due to increased intraocular pressure, IAP. Glaucoma is an eye disorder characterized by high intraocular pressure, IAP, and optic nerve damage that affects peripheral vision. Increased IAP results from either increased production or decreased drainage of aqueous humor. The resulting increase in pressure within the eye may eventually damage the optic nerve. This increase in IAP is by far the most common risk factor for vision loss due to glaucoma. Causes of glaucoma, unknown. Less common causes of glaucoma include a blunt or chemical injury to the eye, severe eye infection, blockage of blood vessels in the eye, inflammatory conditions of the eye, eye surgery to correct another condition. Glaucoma usually occurs in both eyes, but it may involve each eye to a different extent. Predisposing factors to glaucoma. Older age over age 40. A family history of glaucoma can be inherited. Poor vision. Diabetes mellitus. Some steroid medications, such as prednisone. Hypertension. Types of glaucomas. 1. Open angle glaucoma. The drainage system remains open. Open angle glaucoma may cause vision damage without symptoms. Also known as chronic, simple, or white angle glaucoma, it progresses slowly. 2. Angle closure glaucoma. The normal drainage canals within the eye are physically blocked. Angle closure glaucoma can be acute, sudden, or chronic, long-lasting. Acute angle closure glaucoma has a sudden increase in eye up, occurs due to buildup of aqueous humor. Acute angle closure glaucoma is considered as an emergency because optic nerve damage and vision loss can occur within few hours of the onset of the problem. Chronic angle closure glaucoma may cause vision damage without symptoms. It occurs suddenly and can cause permanent vision loss in 48-72 hours. Pathophysiology of glaucoma, a balance exists between the production and drainage of aqueous humor. Any disruption in the aqueous humor outflow, usually through its pathways, results in elevation of IAP, which is a major risk factor in the pathogenesis of glaucoma. In open white angle glaucoma, the flow is reduced through the trabecular meshwork due to the degeneration and obstruction of the trabecular meshwork, whose original function is to absorb the aqueous humor. Loss of aqueous humor absorption leads to increased resistance and thus a chronic painless buildup of pressure in the eye. In close narrow angle, the iridocorneal angle is completely closed because of the displacement of the iris against a cornea, resulting in the inability of the aqueous humor to flow from the posterior to the anterior chamber and then out into the trabecular network. This accumulation of aqueous humor causes an acute increase of pressure and pain. Signs and symptoms of glaucoma, open angle glaucoma may cause no symptoms, it may cause a dull morning headache, mild aching in the eyes. Loss of peripheral vision due to optic nerve damage. Halos around lights due to optic nerve damage. Reduced visual acuity especially at night, that's uncorrected by glasses. Angle closure glaucoma causes rapid onset of pain and pressure over the eye. Blurred vision due to optic nerve damage. Decreased visual acuity due to optic nerve damage. Halos around lights due to optic nerve damage. Nausea and vomiting due to increased intracranial pressure. Other signs and symptoms include vision loss, redness in the eye and narrowing of vision, tunnel vision. Management of glaucoma. Investigations, physical examination, assess for, mild dilated and fixed pupil. Hazy bluish appearance of the cornea. Sharp elevation in eye up. Late findings may include constriction of visual fields on perimeter, optic cup enlargement identified on ophthalmoscopic examination of the disc, direct tonometry, measurement of IAP, reveals increased IAP and comparing with subsequent measurements over time. Parametry is used to determine the presence of defects within the visual fields, particularly peripheral vision which is reduced in glaucoma. 
Tomography is used to measure the outflow of aqueous humor from the eye. Fendoscopy, stereoscopically viewing the optic nerve head and the retina, looking for characteristic glaucomatous signs and for changes in appearance over time. One important observation is the optic nerve's cup disc ratio. Pachymetry, using a variety of modalities to measure the thickness of the cornea, as a thin cornea is a risk factor for glaucoma. Corneal pachymetry can also be used to calibrate the measured intraocular pressure for the patient's corneal thickness, as a thicker cornea tends to yield higher intraocular pressure readings. The Tomy SP3000 is one example. Gonioscopy, used to differentiate open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma. Scanning laser ophthalmoscopy, using a scanning laser to quantify the appearance of the optic nerve head. The Heidelberg Retinal Tomographer, HRT, is one example. Treatment of glaucoma, topical adrenergic agonists. Cholinergic agonists. Beta adrenergic blockers. Topical or oral carbonic anhydrase inhibitors that reduce IOP by decreasing the production of aqueous humor. Surgery or laser treatment may be performed for patients who are unresponsive to drug therapy, trabeculectomy or peripheral iridotomy. Bed rest is recommended for patients with acute angle closure glaucoma. Eye drops for glaucoma. These either reduce the formation of fluid in the front of the eye or increase its outflow. Side effects of glaucoma drops may include allergy, redness of the eyes, brief stinging, blurred vision, and irritated eyes. Laser surgery for glaucoma. Laser surgery for glaucoma slightly increases the outflow of the fluid from the eye in open angle glaucoma or eliminates fluid blockage in angle closure glaucoma. Glaucoma treatment often starts with prescription eye drops. These can help decrease eye pressure by improving how fluid drains from the eye or by decreasing the amount of fluid the eye makes. Eye drop medications include prostaglandins, increase the outflow of the fluid in the eye, aqueous humor, and reduce pressure in the eye. Examples include latanoprost, zalatin, and bimatoprost, lumigan. Possible side effects include mild reddening of the eyes, darkening of the iris, changes in the pigment of the eyelashes or eyelid skin, and blurred vision. Beta blockers reduce the production of fluid in the eye, thereby lowering the pressure in the eye, intraocular pressure. Examples include timolol, betamol, timoptic, and bitaxolol, bitoptic. Possible side effects include difficulty breathing, slowed heart rate, lower blood pressure, impotence and fatigue. Alpha adrenergic agonists reduce the production of aqueous humor and increase outflow of the fluid in the eye. Examples include apriclonidine, eopidine, and bromonidine, alphagon. Possible side effects include an irregular heart rate, high blood pressure, fatigue, red, itchy or swollen eyes, and dry mouth. Carbonic anhydrous inhibitors, rarely used for glaucoma, these drugs may reduce the production of fluid in the eye. Examples include dorzolamide, trucept, and bronzolamide, azopt. Possible side effects include a metallic taste, frequent urination, and tingling in the fingers and toes. Meotic or cholinergic agents increase the outflow of fluid from the eye. An example is pilocarpine, esoptocarpine. Side effects include smaller pupils, possible blurred or dim vision, and nearsightedness. Oral medications, if eye drops alone don't bring the eye pressure down to the desired level, the doctor may also prescribe an oral medication, usually a carbonic anhydrous inhibitor. Possible side effects include frequent urination, tingling in the fingers and toes, depression, stomach upset, and kidney stones. Types of surgery for glaucoma include trabeculoplasty, in which a laser is used to pull open the trabecular meshwork drainage area. Iridotomy, in which a tiny hole is made in the iris, allowing the fluid to flow more freely. Cyclophoticogulation, in which a laser beam treats areas of the middle layer of the eye, reducing the production of fluid. Microsurgery for glaucoma such as trabeculectomy, where a new channel is created to drain the fluid, thereby reducing intraocular pressure that causes glaucoma. A part of the trabecular meshwork is removed to allow aqueous humor to bypass blocked outflow channels. It creates an opening under the conjunctiva. It helps treat glaucoma that does not respond to drug therapy. Iridectomy is performed together with trabeculectomy to prevent the iris from prolapsing into the new opening and obstructing the flow of aqueous humor. Preoperative nursing care, general preoperative care. Medications, give the ordered medications to help reduce the IOP. Encourage drug compliance by teaching the patient about the disease and treatment. Psychological care, explain that trabeculectomy lowers the pressure inside the eye. They do not cause the fluid to drain into the patient's tears. 
The fluid, which is drained out of the eye, is shunted to the back of the eye, and from there it enters the venous system, to be removed from the eye as it mixes into the bloodstream. Inform the client about the laser technology being used for operation. Client should be aware of the expected sights and sounds often heard during this procedure and expected outcome. Explain to the client that a laser trabeculoplasty burns the trabecular meshwork, scarring it and causing the meshwork fibers to tighten. The fiber tightening increases the size of the spaces between the fibers thereby improving the outflow of the aqueous humor and in reduction of the IAP. Glaucoma surgery is an effective method of controlling the disease. The surgeries, however, do not cure glaucoma. The goals of surgery are to lower the pressure so as to protect the optic nerve from continued damage. The surgeries do not restore sight which has already been lost. The surgeries do not improve vision. The primary goal of glaucoma surgery is to slow the progression of the disease. The pressure reduction achieved by surgery does not last forever. Medications are used to minimize scarring for the first few months following surgery. It is important to remember that recovery takes between three to six weeks following surgery. Postoperative nursing care, observations, observe for excessive bleeding from the affected area. Do vital signs observations. Observe for nausea and vomiting, administer an antiemetic, because vomiting can raise the intraocular pressure. Medications, give medicines as ordered to dilate the pupil and topical corticosteroids too. Rest a pupil and protect the eye. Give an analgesic to relieve pain and a beta-adrenergic blocker to reduce pressure. Continue the previously prescribed eye drops e.g. amniotic or a beta-adrenergic blocker in the unaffected eye. Administer eye drops usually amniotic e.g. pilocarpine. Immediately instill a cycloplegic e.g. atropin. If ordered give a corticosteroid to reduce iritis. Administer antiemetic and stool softeners as ordered. Teach patient on how to apply topical eye drops and warn the patient about the side effects of the drugs such as blurred vision, burning sensation. Reassure patient that these side effects are temporal and may wean off after some time. Advise patient to carry eye drugs in the pocket all the time when traveling. Patient to wear a medical alert card indicating that they have glaucoma and taking specific medication in case they are involved in RTA. Care of the eye, ensure that the eye is covered with a patch and a protective shield is applied over it after injection of antibiotic drug under the conjunctiva. Patient to avoid lying on the operative side and to report any brow pain, severe eye pain, or nausea. Exercise activities, encourage the patient to be ambulatory immediately after. Surgery. Advise patient to avoid all activities that increase IAPG coughing hard, sneezing straining during bowel movement. Psychological care. Patients need both professional and family support to adhere to the treatment regimen. IAC, instruct the client to avoid taking aspirin as it has adverse effect on clotting abilities. To report immediately sudden onset of severe eye pain, photophobia, excessive tearing or vision loss. Let client understand that glaucoma cannot be cured but can be controlled by taking prescribed drugs regularly. To avoid straining because it can increase eye up. To anticipate changes in vision and to overcome the loss of peripheral vision, should turn head fully to view objects on the side. Watch out for choroidal hemorrhage after surgery as a complication. If IAP is too low, fluid may enter the suprachoroidal detachment. Extra fluid in this space may break the blood vessels located there. Signs of choroidal hemorrhage include acute pain deep in the eye, decreased vision, changes in vital signs, importance of glaucoma screening for early detection and prevention. Glaucoma screening done to clients over 35 years with family history of glaucoma. Complications of trabeculectomy. Bleeding, infection, blindness, and loss of the eye. Choroidal hemorrhage. Prevention of glaucoma. Glaucoma may not be prevented, but these self-care steps can help detect it early, limit vision loss, or slow its progress. Get regular eye care. Regular comprehensive eye exams can help detect glaucoma in its early stages before irreversible damage occurs. As a general rule, have comprehensive eye exams every four years beginning at age 40 and every two years from age 65. Clients at risk may need more frequent screening. Know your family's eye health history glaucoma tends to run in families. Exercise safely, regular, moderate exercise may help prevent glaucoma by reducing eye pressure. Take prescribed eye drops regularly, glaucoma eye drops can significantly reduce the risk that high eye pressure will progress to glaucoma. To be effective, eye drops prescribed by the doctor need to be used regularly, even if one has no symptoms. Wear eye protection, serious eye injuries can lead to glaucoma. 
Wear eye protection when using power tools or playing high speed racket sports on enclosed courts. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button and share this video.